letters in packages down the rail. My favorite thing is to deliver the mail. Paul in my car go far and wide, delivering smiles in the countryside. No wind. Something with feathers who says caca and Mama. No. Mama. No. Mama. No. Mama. You don't give up, do you? What's your name, little guy? Mama. Okay, I'll call you Wilson. Hello, Wilson. I'm Diesel. Now we're buddies. Next stop, random dogs to find your Mama. Not your mama. More like a big brother. Mama! Wilson, you have to be more careful. Mama. <laughs> no, more like a super strong uncle. Don't worry, Wilson. We'll find your mama here. Mama. Hey, Diesel. Looks like you picked up a passenger. <laughs> I'm trying to find his mama. mama. Well, I'm glad he's found his mama. They grow up so quickly. It's hard to see them leave the nest. <clears throat> you did a good thing. Helped him find his mama. Yeah, I guess so. Huh. Better go pick up my delivery. <gasps> mama. Now she shouldn't be down here. She should be up at the duck pond. Okay, ducky. Take you home. But mama's work is never done. <laughs> yeah, you're a cutie. Hey guys, is the telescope here yet? Not yet. Bolstra should be here any. <gasps> Thomas, what happened? What do you mean? Ah! Thomas, I told you not to cut through Crumble Canyon. So that's what you said. I knew it was something like that. You look terrible. Like, really terrible. Huh? Pfft. I just got a little dinged up. No biggie. Thomas, what on earth? You have to get to Tidmouth right now. Right now? But I want to see the new telescope. You know, but you have to get repainted immediately. You don't want to rust, do you? Rust? I'm so glad you came to see me. You've got a bad case of the scrapes. Aww. Can't believe I'm gonna miss Cranky unloading the new telescope. Scratches and dings do turn to rust if you don't fix them, Thomas. And you don't want rust, Thomas. Rust is the worst. I hear it's super itchy and scratchy and really uncomfortable. Oh, it is. You should be fine, Thomas. See, got you all fixed up with a fresh new coat of paint. Good as new. Great. 
Thanks, Sandy. Rolling round, rolling fast to Vickers Town. <gasps> oh no! Ducks on the track! My cargo! Phew! Landed ship shape. Train coming through. Sorry, but I have to get this stuff to Vickers Town. Time to waddle on, ducks. I'm in a hurry. Ducks, time to go. No? Okay then, I'm going to toot scoot you out of the way. Now scoot! Good morning, Mia. Ugh, now I'm stopped at a red light. When that light turns green, I have to go. Now scoot! <laughs> Town. I have the perfect plan. <laughs> this is your perfect plan? Yes, you're cute. But that tickles. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Almost there. There. Hey, Sandy. Whoa. Sandy? Oh, hey, Carly. How are you? Why do you have all this stuff? It's all very important stuff. You're not using it. But you can take it to Whips so someone else can reuse or recycle it. Huh. Good point. You know what? Let's take it all to Whips Recycling right now. Okay. All ready to sort and recycle. Goodbye, bike. Hope someone finds you and loves you. These old bicycle wheels would make perfect engine gaskets. Goodbye, old computer monitor. Hey, I can use this for my greasifier. It's such a good idea to get rid of all this stuff. Goodbye, fridge. <laughs> this is still useful. And goodbye, shoe. Join the other... What? Where's the other... Oh. Well, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm just gonna reuse it myself. Will you? Or is it gonna end up spilled all over the place again? Not if you help me, because you are super good at organizing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. One more thing, and... Ta-da! That looks great! Thanks, Carly. And look, I made this for you. You actually did reuse that old boot and created something beautiful. And I can put it right here. Carly, no! Sandy? Maybe I can reuse some help? <laughs> wow. We're just gonna have to put our heads together and think of something new. Between you and me, we'll find the plan B or C or D. Between me and you, we'll get Sugar and flour will be our base stacked up right. Make a pretty sweet race, keeping eggs, milk, and butter in the right place. So I won't get more egg on my face. Between you and me, we'll find a plan B or C or D. Between me and you, we'll get this delivery through.
get this delivery through. Well, we're just gonna have to put our heads together and think of something new. Between you and me, we'll find the plan B or C or D. Between me and you, we'll get this delivery through. I've got an idea. Sugar and flour will be our base stacked up right. Make a pretty sweet race, keeping eggs, milk, and butter in the right place. So I won't get more egg on my face. Between you and me, we'll find a plan B or C or D. Between me and you, we'll get this delivery through. Catch me if you can. <sighs> That's it. <laughs> Sorry, <gasps> cows, but we gotta hurt the <laughs> Rusty real spikes. I have the hick <laughs> ups. Hey, Thomas, is there like a really big chicken around here? No, it's <gasps> me. I took on water too fast, and I think I got the hiccups. <laughs> so bad, I can't do the delivery. <laughs> oh, I hear steam blasts help, like this. <gasps> <gasps> that might have worked. <laughs> The cows have hiccups? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> A good surprise always cures the hiccups. It worked! It's a good thing we diesels never get hiccups. I guess we do get hiccups. <laughs> if you jump out of your hiding place and surprise me, you win. But if I sneak up and surprise you, I win. That's why it's called Hide and Surprise! Okay, I'll hide first. Ready or not, here I come to surprise you. Surprise! Yay, yay, yay! Surprise! I win! Okay, it's your turn to hide. Oh, I'm going to hide, all right. Somewhere Percy will never find me. Surprise! Ah! Ah! Sorry, but it's hide and surprise, remember? I love this game. <laughs> Percy will never find me in here. <laughs> Surprise! Ah! <laughs> He'll never find me here. Surprise! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Diesel's undercover. Surprise! Ah! <laughs> oh, 
the perfect hiding place. Surprise! Ah! He's not gonna surprise me this time. I'm gonna surprise him. Ha ha ha! my incredibly vivid imagination again. Oh, of course, it's just a dragon. A dragon? Run away! Ah! Dragon sighting! There! This way, knights! To the rescue! Ah! Help! Oops. This way, knights! <laughs> ah! 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 We're here to rescue you from the dragon float. Save yourselves and... What? Dragon captured! We're playing dragon. And it got away from us. I see. Well, perhaps this time, one of you can be the dragon, and I'll be the handsome and almost unbearably charming knight. I'll be the dragon this time. Dragon? There's a dragon! Run away! Run away! Roar! Come, Knight Kara. Let's save the kingdom from the beast! Lead the way! Lead the way! Never heard a whistle make that sound before. I, that is wow, <laughs> massive. But I'm on it. <laughs> Try it now. Great. I'm ready to hear my old. Wow, this really is a more massive deal than we thought. For a job this big, I'm gonna need my extra special tools. Meet me at the sheds later. <sighs> okay. See you then. Uh, go easy on that totally, completely broken whistle. <sighs> I know you 
want to be fixed, but it's just a little longer. And then you can get your peep back. Come on, let's finish our mail route. I think you should finish this delivery on your own. But what about Percy, miss? You feel like yourself again, and that's great. But I won't until this is fixed. Just go on without me. Well, if that's what you want, I'll meet you back at the sheds. By that time, I'm sure Sandy will have fixed her whistle. If she can even fix me. Otherwise, I'll never peep again. Percy doesn't need me. He can toot and carry the mail by himself. <laughs> Troublesome trucks! Should be trouble making trucks. <gasps> uh oh! One of the troublesome trucks is headed right for Percy! I have to warn him! He can't hear me! <gasps> but with your help, maybe he will. Okay, just follow the number one bird. Sir Topham hat when he gets back from the mainland. Don't worry, I'll be so careful. <laughs> Not confetti. What's wrong, Diesel? I thought everyone liked confetti. Everybody loves confetti. Just not in their intake vents. Thomas, I told you to be careful. I was careful. You should be careful, like the careful list. Oops, miss some. Now remember. Whoa! Hey, where did the confetti cart go? There! Let's go! Be careful or the confetti will explode again! Wait! Sandy's right! We have to be careful! I'm being careful! Oh no! Ah! How is it not exploding? Ah! Okay, this is getting ridiculous! <laughs> to the bridge like you did to the tunnel? Electric idea. Let's find out. I can plug in and power the bridge. No power, no problem. Let's roll. Uh, Kana? 
something wrong? <sighs> the bridge is down. But now, so is my battery. I'm out of power. It's okay. Go on to Vigor's town. I'll be fine. Grab on, Kana. Everything's connected, right? Now you're connected to me, and I'm going to Vickers Town. Way to go, Purse! Yeah. On the left is the Vickers Town Lighthouse. It's dark right now, but when it's lit up, it's... <gasps> Spectacular! Incredible! Just beautiful. Thank you. We definitely got our scenic route, as promised, Thomas. Well, the electricity's all connected, but so are we. We all did it together. Yep! <sighs> yeah. I'm sure this tour will be the highlight of their visit. Oh, oh, Annie, I made a pun. Oh! You did! Good one, Clary. <laughs> Hi there. I'm all charged up and ready to go. Come on. Why don't we all connect for the ride home? Hook me in. I'll lead the way. Electric! Electric. Oh. <laughs> Sure. 
broken track, I think I'll be okay. This lucky bell sure has a knack for saving every day. I sure am feeling lucky, cause I've got this bell with me. Percy gave this bell to me, I'm lucky he's my friend. So I'll take care of Percy's bell until the very end. I sure am feeling lucky, cause I've got this bell with me. train I'd always do good deeds here to there and everywhere thanks to my super speed if I was a super train I'd use my super steam I'd slip inside so I could hide and not be super seen if you were super train you do a lot of good but anyone can be a hero right in their name so strong and fly so fast. Having superpowers is a super blast. Superpowers are great, it's true, but nothing's more super than just being you. If I was a super train, I'd always do good deeds here to there and everywhere. Thanks to my super speed. Woohoo! If I was a super train, I'd use my super steam. I'd slip inside so I could hide and not be super seen. If you were super train, you'd do a lot of good. But anyone can be a hero right in their neighborhood. I'd be so strong and fly so fast. Having superpowers is a super blast. Superpowers are great, it's true. Train, the world would cheer my name. But even if you lost your powers, I'd like you just the same. I can clear that, no problem. <laughs> okay, it might be a little problem. <laughs> Good luck with the traffic. Huh, it's nothing but grassy fields and blue skies out here. Right, sheep? <gasps> Cracked couplers! Where did all this traffic come from? <clears throat> you got this, Percy! I think I can! I think I can! I think I can't! <laughs> oh, thanks, cow. Any chance you want to be my new BFF? Bovine friend forever? Train-tastic! Although, I am a little worried about Thomas. He took the lunnies for my mail route, and you would not believe how jammed it gets this time of day. <laughs> Is the traffic always this bad? Ha ha ha! You are listening! I don't need Percy! It's just you and me, sheepy old pal. Which ain't so bad. <sighs> Percy would have laughed at that. Who am I kidding? I miss my best friend. Thomas? Why haven't you dropped your delivery off yet? Isn't it obvious? I'm stuck in traffic. Wait, where's Percy? He uh, took a little detour. Don't tell me you two haven't made up yet. Well, he started it. Or maybe I did. I wonder if he's having as much trouble as I am. <laughs> <sighs> Thanks for trying, Cow. But it's no use. I'll never get this delivery done without my best buddy, Thomas. What am I gonna do, Nia? Why don't you just ask Percy for help? This is his mail route, after all. He'll know a way around it. I, I can't. We're not exactly friends anymore. And besides, he's probably made it to Normby without me. So if Percy was nearby, would you ask him for help? Yeah. Good, because Percy's right over there. Wait, what? Percy! <gasps> I was really hoping Thomas wouldn't see me. Can you help Thomas get out of this traffic? 
We're still not talking. But if someone wanted to avoid the traffic, they could back up a few feet and take the siding over there to get to this track. Thomas, it's right here. Thanks, Percy! <sighs> you both are being silly. There you go, Thomas. All done. I love the feeling of being sparkly clean after a good scrub. Okay, Sandy, your turn. No! I don't want to take a bath! Aw, come on, Sandy. Don't you want to be clean and shiny like me? No! I like being muddy. It's my look. Besides, you're just gonna get all dirty again. Maybe, but I'll make you a deal. If I can stay clean all day, then you have to take a bath. You are on! Hope you don't have any dirty deliveries today. <laughs> Pigs? Aw, oh, Bolts. Bet you can't stay clean. I'm taking them to the farm, not rolling in the mud with them. <laughs> Good luck! Good luck. Oh, what a bright, shiny, sparkly, clean day. Easy greasy. And I'm still clean as a whistle. Have fun in the mud! Whoa! Piggy, look out! Aw, oh, bolts. Thomas, what happened to you? I fell in the mud, and I bet Sandy had stayed clean all day. Yes! I knew I'd win. Well, why don't you take another bath before she sees you? No, I have to tell her the truth. Are you looking for the winner? I'm right here! Huh? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you got a much mustache. Whoa! Look, I'm all clean. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wash off if I can do it like that. Let's get clean. <laughs> <laughs> I made a new sound. <gasps> I love it. Hey, sheep, listen. <gasps> <laughs> They're jumpy today. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hi, Nia. Don't scare the butterflies, please. Oh, wow. Hey, have you heard my new sound? <gasps> That was pretty loud. But cool. But loud. Oh no, it was too loud, wasn't it? Well, too loud for the butterflies. I'm gonna find a place where it's okay to be loud. Good luck! Oh. Here's a good spot. <gasps> Gordon, wait till you hear my new sound. <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> <laughs> Ania, <laughs> what's wrong? Sorry I woke you up. I have a great new sound, but it's too loud to play anywhere. Well, sometimes it's fun to be loud. <laughs> you need to find a place where being loud won't make others cranky. Cranky? Great idea, Gordon. Oh, what are you doing here, Nia? This. <gasps> Wow! Nice loud sound. I like it. <laughs> nice one, Bullstrode. Any minute now. Do you see him yet? Not yet. Uh-uh. Hey, guys. Did any of you see that the crossing arms... Hold on, Thomas. He should be here any minute. Today. He's coming for the fireworks show tonight. I can't wait to see him. And that cool tiger painted on his side. And hear his whistle that sounds like a tiger. <laughs> Just like that. That must be him. A vast land lovers. There's a passenger on board who seems to be eager to see ya. Electric! We made it! Roar! Yeah! yeah. 
everyone! I'm so happy to be back with you all in Sodor. And I brought a surprise for the fireworks show tonight. All the way from China. Cool! That's awesome! Can you tell us again how you earned your totally cool and sort of scary tiger decal? Please! Oh. Tell us! <laughs> oh, it wasn't such a big deal. I was just trying to help out. Come Can on! Please oh, with Axel yeah. Grease on top? Okay, okay. It was for the time I rescued... <gasps> Annie and Clarabelle? Annie and Clarabelle? I thought you rescued an engine from an ice cliff with a snowplow. No! James is pulling Annie and Clarabelle this way. But the crossing arm is stuck, and they don't see Gordon coming. We have to stop them. Oh, yeah. Guys, I was trying to say before... Gordon! Gordon! Huh? Great gears! <laughs> Nicely done. Whew. Thank you, Young Bao. So electric. Oh, you weren't How even brave. scared. What's wrong, Thomas? Well, I should have been the one to have saved the day. I saw the crossing arm was stuck, and I was going to tell someone, but... Young Bao is our hero. Did you see that? Oh, yes. So you had a chance to be brave and missed it? Yeah. I wish I could have shown Young Bao how brave I really am. Well, you may not be the bravest engine on Sodor, but you did get to see Young Bao bravely leap to the rescue. Well, I would have too. You really are the bravest engine. Well, we'd better get to our delivery so we don't miss the fireworks tonight. Bye, Young Bao. Bye. <laughs> Taking letters and packages down the rail. My favorite thing is to deliver the mail. <laughs> hey, first, you're looking excited today. Just one delivery left. It's a super special party balloon for Sir Topham Hat. Look! Oh no! It's getting away! I have to get that back. Come on! Back up! Back up, back up, back up! Go, go, go! I have to get that back! <gasps> there it is! <gasps> I got it! I don't got it. Hey! Come back here! We have to get it back, or Sir Topham Hat's party will be ruined! Follow that seagull! Well, hello there. Excuse me, Cranky. Will you lift me up to those gulls? I suppose so. Percy, you're scared of heights! What are you doing? I have to deliver all the mail. That means getting my... Okay, let's deliver this balloon. Come on, Loco Amigo. I got you. Sir Topham Hat, your special party balloon. Oh, yes. Perfect. Thank you. I'll add it to the others. The others? They're lovely. Oh, oh dear. Boys, would you mind? Follow that, Sir Topham Hat. Oh, my. Don't worry, Sir Topham Hat. We'll get you back to the party. Chugga, chugga, snooze, snooze. Little train so sweet. Chugga, chugga, snooze, snooze. Rest your wheels and go to sleep. Chugga, chugga, snooze, snooze. Slow your pistons, no more steam. Shut your eyes, time to dream When you wake with the morning sun You'll zoom off to have more fun But till then, you know what's best To slow it down and get some 
chugga chugga snooze snooze when a sleeping train goes night. Chugga chugga snooze snooze, it's such a lovely sight. Chugga chugga snooze snooze, when a sleeping train goes night night. <laughs> this is fun. What are we doing? <laughs> Chasing a butterfly. Oh, I love butterflies. They're so delicate, but keep fluttering and flitting and flying. I know. Right now, I'm looking for a Sodor Skipper. A Sodor Skipper? I thought we were looking for butterflies. We are. A Sodor Skipper is a really big purple butterfly. Purple? Like me? Electric! Hmm. Not here. <gasps> Over there! It's amazing! <laughs> <laughs> wow, they get scared easily. Maybe they're just not ready for someone as fast as you. Good point. I won't go fast. <gasps> that one over there is purple! It is a Sodor Skipper! <laughs> well, it was. Maybe she heard you coming? <laughs> I might have been too loud. Okay, so we need to be slow and quiet. <gasps> Look over there! Where? Slowly, slowly. Getting closer, closer. <gasps> so beautiful. <gasps> so perfectly purple. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> I guess no matter how slow or how quiet we are, we're always going to scare away the Sodor Skippers. But it sure was fun looking. There's one on your head. The electric. This rocks. It's okay, Percy. Everyone's afraid a little. But some of us are afraid a lot. Me for a start, I'm afraid of the dark and pandas and great white sharks. You're afraid of pandas? They're bears, Nia. Panda bears. Yeah, but they're really more like raccoons. Oh, raccoons are so cute. Okay, so never mind. I like pandas now. Everyone's afraid a little. Even if someone says they're not. But me personally, my fear happens to be roller coasters. They scare me a lot. Coasters are just like pandas. Afraid you'll be. We all get scared. It's a feeling that's shared of robots or ghosts or bats or vacuum cleaners. Coasters are just like pandas. The more you know. As afraid you'll be. We all get scared. It's a feeling that's shared of robots or ghosts or bats or vacuum cleaners. Yeah, we all get scared. It's a feeling that's shared. You can go slow. Just watch your courage grow. Face any fear without shedding any tears. And just to be clear, You sure about that, Thomas? We know what to do at railway crossings. Stop, look, and listen. Hey, guys. Sorry I'm late. Hi, Diesel. It's okay. You can bring the tractor. What? That tiny tractor? <gasps> See you there. Okay, steady and safe. And fun. How about a game? 
Red light, green light. Green light! <laughs> Steady and safe. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cranky. Just be careful out there. Thomas, listen! Look! Mia! <gasps> Red light! Duckies, don't you know it's not safe to play on the railway tracks? Now scoot. Green light! I love this game. Hi, ducks! Red light! Green light! No! Diesel! Red light! <laughs> nice try. Huh? Diesel! You okay? Never better! Diesel, you have to pay attention at railway crossings. When the crossing barriers are down, you have to stop. And never try to cross when a train is coming. Green light! Green light! From now on, I'm gonna be super safe. Huh? Ah! Red light! Looks like somebody left the gate open and the cows wandered onto the tracks. Bad move! <laughs> <laughs> It's not 
not treasure. It's a monster. Roar! Ah! <laughs> it's got big teeth, but it's not a monster. The paleontologist says it's a dinosaur. What's a palonapotogalist? Palonapotogalist, Diesel. <laughs> a paleontologist is a scientist who learns about dinosaurs by digging up their bones. I love dinosaurs. This is so cool. Oh, yes. And even cooler, uh, they need some engines to deliver the bones to the Vickerstown Museum for the big new dinosaur exhibit. Sounds like a job for... The Biggest Adventure Club! Yeah! <laughs> guys, guys, we have to go to the mine! Right now! There's bones! Bones? Dinosaur bones! Dinosaur bones? Wahoo! Let's go! Hear me roar! <laughs> Call me the Perseodactyl. The Conoraptor will show you how it's done. Thomas Rex has got this! Let's go! <laughs> See? The bones are right. <gasps> oh no! Gordon, the T Rex is gone? Gone? Someone better tell the paleo lollipopolist. <laughs> the uh, paleontologist dug them up from there and carefully arranged them for you over here. Now, everyone pick a car, but keep them in the order they are now. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. For the T-Rex to be put together properly, the paleontologists put these cars in this exact order. If you get out of order... Got it! Dinosaurs, let's dino roar! Roar! <laughs> if you kids get out of order, T-Rex won't look right. Uh, Thomas? Thomas! <sighs> Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. Feet, tailbone, ribs, and claws, head and jaws. A partner on the rails with me. Who would have thought that you and I could make such a special team? It wasn't what I had in mind, but now I think I see. Your best friend isn't there to have your back. Just let a new friend in and give it a spin to help you get back on track. Good friends come from anywhere and anyone can be a partner on the rails with me. Just let a new 